welcome change. So, mortal, you have found my shrine, and you have seen my followers. They are an embarrassment to me. The fools cast a spell in the hopes of summoning me to them. It was prideful and foolish, and it has had its consequences. My followers are trapped between worlds. Their bodies here on this plane, their souls in oblivion. I would have you reunite the bodies and the souls. I will transport you to the plane of oblivion in which they are trapped. Whoa. Whoa, look at the look at the leaves of the trees. It's looking it's like looking through a kaleidoscope. If you're looking if you're feeling sick, look away from the video. But anyway. I am uh I'm back, obviously. This is episode twelve, thirteen, something like that. Whatever. It'll say in the title. But there's a whole bunch of frozen dudes around here. Um, and I just, I clicked on the statue because I thought it would need an offering, but it just went ahead and started the quest. But anyway, we have to go to the Plane of Oblivion and rescue the souls of these people. Because right now they're, like, paralyzed. But anyway, oh, I thought she had her eyes open. I was like, that is freaking creepy. But she just has been using way too much eyeshadow. So, um, I think we just go, it's like a, as far as I can remember, this one's just like a standard, boring old Oblivion gate. So, um, which... If if that is the case, it'll be the first Oblivion Gate of the walkthrough. But anyway, um, I don't think we're gonna be, gonna be able to finish off the Digit Quest like I said in the last video because we have Periite to do, we have Boethia, we have uh, something, and we have Azura, by Azura, we have Namira, and we have Hermanius Mora. That's six, so I'm going to do three per episode and finish these off in two episodes. I underestimated how many shrines there are left. I thought there was only three left, but there's actually six. So anyway, let's go. Oblivion. Yeah. Sorry for the, you know, exceedingly creepy laugh. But anyway, I believe this is just a boring old Oblivion gate. So yeah, you're like, oh my goodness, it looks so cool. But it's not. Get used to these things because as soon this is why I've been putting off starting the main quest. As soon as you start the main quest, these things pop up all over the place, and you gotta close them. It's really freaking boring. But anyway, yeah, you can close Oblivion Gates if you want to. You don't have to close all of them. You have to close a couple of them for the main quest. But um, yeah, some of them have like little puzzles involved with actually opening the gates. But in Oblivion, there's gonna be uh, new alchemy ingredients like blood grass there's a few other ones um, and all of them are just like a large area um, I think all the oblivion gates are different I'm not 100% sure on that though um, they all kind of look basically the same just with slight differences in like how the fortress is construction constructed and all that goodness actually it's not goodness but these roots these harata roots they actually try to hit you I believe am I stuck I am stuck Never mind, it's not the Ratterroots. But there is an Oblivion ingredient uh, that will try to, like, attack you. I don't remember what it's called, but anyway. There is a Daedroth. Oh. Oh, someone, someone's knows me. A uh, Spider Daedra has knows me. But yeah, I am going to be killing, luckily, higher level Daedric monsters. Really? 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 Must we, must we do this right now? There's a mini Spider Daedra. A Spiderling. Daedric Spiderling. But anyway, yeah, we're going to be, um, you know, fighting higher level Daedric monsters because if you start the Oblivion Gates at level 1, all you ever see is scamps and, um, do, is there two Spider Daedras after us? Or just one? I don't know. But yeah, all you ever see is scamps and, um, really low level Dremoras, and it's just kind of boring, so... That's that's the better part about being high level because you see like spider daedras, you see daedroths, you see clan fears, you see, um, I think there's a couple others. I think there's storm atronox. You know, I think atronox. You also see them in oblivion gates. I'm not 100% sure on that though. But daedroth teeth, we have never had those before. I don't think I've only killed one daedroth ever, um, and the reason for that is just because I haven't done any oblivion gates yet. So, yeah. But let's dispatch of these spider daedras because they're 
annoying me. But yeah, spider daedras are just kind of weird. Like, it's a human and a spider fused together. And I don't know why it's deserving of being a daedra, but it is. The spider daedra summoned its own spider daedra. Very... I see what you did there. But my, uh, my wraith is not helping much. Come on, please die. I mean, I know I'm only using iron arrows because that's the only arrows I could find to buy, but still, please die. But yeah, all the Daedric monsters drop is alchemy ingredients, um, except the Dramoras. They can drop other stuff as well. I believe they can drop up to Daedric armor. I believe they do drop Daedric armor if you're really high level. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, if you're not a really high level, though, they just drop really crappy gear. Um, so, not too much to worry about. Anyway, those guys are finally dead. So, let's get a basic grasp on our bearings here. Holy crap, this is a large area. Oh. And the green arrows, of course, are not on the area, so we're going to have to figure out where they all are ourselves. Um, there are a lot of pathways to go down in these oblivion areas. Um, and there's a lot of lava around, too, so that kind of cuts off the ways you can go. But uh, let's head down this direction because it looks like there's a few green arrows this way. I really wish I could have a mini map, but I can't because it's cut off. Uh, this one looks like it's the closest one. Oh, a Daedroth. Let's take care of him. Help me, Wraith. Oh, there's two Daedroths. Okay, yeah, I need help. There's going to be a lot of combat uh, in Oblivion Gates. I just, I really hate Oblivion Gates. I cannot stress to you guys how much I hate Oblivion Gates. They're so boring. I mean, you just kill a lot of monsters, you go through, like, a dungeon with really crappy loot, and then you close the gate. Anyway, I'm tempted to just pause the video and say, hey, you know, I'll come back once this gate is done, but anyway, we'll go through it. I mean, it is the first Oblivion Gate, so... Really, there's all this crap after me? Oh, there's also these, uh... I don't know what they're called, Frankenstein-looking things, called Zillavis. I don't know if that's the correct correct pronunciation. I don't think it is, but, you know, don't judge me. Get out of here, Clanfear. You're not even a real Clanfear. You're just a summon. But yeah, the Daedroths are beefy. They're basically like Tyrannosaurus Rexes, and they have a ton of health. But anyway, holy crap, these guys are owning my Wraith. Please stop. I need that. I need the Wraith. If you kill him, I will kill you. Well, actually, I was planning on killing you anyway, but... I don't remember what Zillabies drop. Um, I know all the other Daedric creatures just drop alchemy ingredients. Please stop summoning stuff. Thank you. What weapon did you have? Ebony Claymore. Eh. Oh, Daedra Hearts. That's right. They drop Daedra Hearts. Which um, aren't as great as they were in Skyrim. So don't worry too much about the Daedra Hearts. Where were we going? We were going down this way. Eh, I'm not sure. We're going this way. Yeah, that's right. Looks like a path here that we can take. Um, actually, this Daedric area might take a really long time to complete, so I'm not sure uh, if I'm going to be able to do um, six Daedric quests in two episodes. I think it might actually take three episodes, which sucks. I already have uh, four episodes recorded that I'll need to render out, so that's going to take forever. They take like 30 minutes to render each, um, since I'm doing widescreen here. And I'm almost out of arrows, which is very, very bad. Um, I'm going to need to get more arrows somehow, but for now, I'm going to have to be fighting hand-to-hand, -hand, which I did not want to be doing. Meh, we'll get through it. Really? Oh, crap, there's a Storm Matronach. Really? I mean, come on. Come on, just give me a break. Die, die, both of you. Daedric Battle Axe. So, yeah, these guys do drop da Daedric weapons at higher levels. I suspected that they would, but I wasn't 100% sure. But yeah, there are just freaking tons of monsters. Yeah, you don't want to be killing Storm Atronox with melee. I'll just say that right now. You really don't want to have to be doing that. Please help me, Wraith. Please help me. Because these guys, they're, they hurt a lot. Oh my goodness. Don't let me die here. Don't let me die in this place. Oh, did I mention that I hate Oblivion Gates? Because I hate Oblivion Gates. <laughs> this game is called Oblivion, and they made the Oblivion Gates the crappiest part about this game. Really, the only part about this game that I truly despise. Oh, and the Thieves Guild questline. Yeah, but we're not going to talk about that. You never want to be talking about the Thieves Guild questline. It just, it will make you depressed. 
Anyway, this game has a lot of great things about it, though. I do like this game more than Skyrim, for some reason. I know that's, like, blasphemy to some people, but I like it. Why are there so many monsters? I don't want to fight all these monsters. Daedros? I don't know how many healing potions I have, but I don't think I have a large amount, so... It might be difficult, at the very least. I don't actually know if you can leave this area without completing the quest, or dying. I'm not 100% or reloading a prior save, obviously. I haven't even come close to rescuing one of the souls, and I'm already just getting completely owned. So I'm going to have to use... It would help if my Faded Wraith would do anything, except just kind of stand there. Here. Summon. There you go. Help me out, please. Just attack it. It's not that hard. <laughs> Come on. Anyway, I'll resume this video once I, I don't know, find something interesting. Stop just fighting monsters all the time. Okay, so we got to the area with the first soul and barely survived. But, uh, soul of Kilwin. So he's now rescued. <laughs> Three more souls to go. Ugh, I hate this place. I have almost died, like, twice. So, it's not exactly the easiest thing in the world to do. Okay, I finally found the second ghost. It's been literally about uh, 20 minutes of playing. This quest is taking forever. It sucks. And I found another one of these souls. Um, I actually have, like... I'm going to take this mace. Just because I actually uh, don't have any repair hammers left. So if my sword breaks, I'm kind of screwed. <laughs> anyway, so three souls rescued, two more down to go. Okay, I found another soul. Only one more to go. Thank goodness. Hopefully I can do it. Finally, the last soul in this quest is done. This awful, awful, awful quest. So. Was to open a gate for me. I should head back to where I entered this realm. I don't know where that is. Well, I guess we'll head back. We'll just loot these really quickly. The fleshy pods. 59 gold, more gold, probably. Those things only seem to ever contain gold. So yeah, this is just an absolutely huge area that was scattered with a bazillion enemies. I went through like 25 repair hammers. I think that's how many I had. It was either 18 or 25, but anyway. I went through a crazy amount of repair hammers. Mostly just repairing my, um... Ebony Battle Axe. Nope. Mostly just repairing my weapon. I tried my best to do, uh, not get hit very much, but I mean... Holy crap, there's a ton of enemies. I leveled up Blade like five times in this area, I think. Uh, let me harvest that Harada root, please. Uh, I almost got it. Yes. Oh, I got nothing of use anyway. Corpses, that's a bit disgusting. But anyway, yeah, I finally finished that. Um, I didn't actually have to close a gate. It was just a large area that was Oblivion-like. So, loot-wise, I didn't get much. I got a ton of alchemy ingredients, like blood grass, daedra hearts, daedra silk, daedra venom, daedra teeth, um, void salts, and something else. I'm not sure what. But anyway, yeah, I got um, tons of alchemy ingredients. Not like I really needed them, but that's kind of helpful. Uh, other than that, loot-wise, I didn't really get anything, so... Let's see. Is this blue flashing light ahead of us? The gate? So even though it wasn't much video time for you, it took a very, very long time for me. So I finally finished it. Um, after this, I'm going to have to go back to my house and restock and everything. And uh, get ready. Hmm? What? Oh. I was like, I'm walking through the portal. I'm not sure what's happening here. But we figured it out. Anyway, let's train this quest. Oh, they're all back to life again. That's pretty cool. Better be a really good reward for how much of a pain that was. Does he? I think he gives me the spellbreaker. Not sure though. Give me a spellbreaker. Come on now. Yes, spellbreaker. I guessed right. I what? I wasn't to be completely. I wasn't. To be honest, 100% sure if he would give me Spellbreaker or not, but he gave me Spellbreaker, which is a very good shield. Um, has Reflect Spell 30% on self. So what that means is if an enemy casts a spell at you, um, 
30% of the damage that spell does is not going to deal damage to you, but is going to deal damage to them. So, um, that's pretty useful. I can't actually remember whether you need to just have the shield equipped and it'll do that, or whether you actually have to, like, hit the, um, spell, like, have the shield up when the spell hits you. I'm not sure. But if it's actually a reflect spell, like, you don't even have to have the shield up, that's really cool. Um, or if it's just a overall reflect damage, I'm, I'm not sure. But anyway, um... I'm going to have to go to a chapel really quickly because some of my stats have been drained, as you can see, and I think I also have some bad effects on me. Yeah, drain strength from the brain rot. That's not helpful. But yeah, reflect spell, that's really cool. So I'm happy about that. And this is an awesome shield. So anyway, I'm going to be using it from now on. Okay, so now it's time for Bethia. I know that that uh, last quest didn't take up too much actual screen time, but it took me forever. And it wasn't fun. Oh. Mushrooms. I will take those. I like mushrooms. You approach the shrine. Yeah, I do. Now just tell me what to do. You believe yourself worthy to approach the shrine of. I'll be slaughtered. You are brave or suicidal. Oh, she wants a Daedra heart, huh? Thankfully, I got some in that last quest because you can't actually get Daedra hearts without killing Daedra creatures, and you can't. Well, you can, but it's very difficult to find Daedric creatures to kill unless you start the main quest line, which I didn't quite want to do yet. But anyway, we'll go get a Daedric heart. I uh, got plenty of them la la in that last Daedric quest. And, uh, I don't know, it's kind of useful, I guess. They do weigh a lot for an alchemy ingredient. They're two pounds each. I'm not sure why that is. But yeah, in Skyrim, Daedric hearts are very rare. In this game, not so much. Very, very common, in fact. There we go. Daedra Heart. You get like 10 of them every single Oblivion Gate, so. Anyway, we have what Boethia, Boethia, whatever her name is. I think it's a her. I'm not. It sounds like more of a her name than a him name, but let's go back. It is a him. I'm sorry. My mistake. But let's turn in this Daedra Heart and get our quest, our mission, our duty. Oops, it's a him. Crap. You are not one of my favorite. Do you hope to be counted among my chosen? Then prove yourself to me, mortal. I shall open a portal for you to one of my realms in oblivion. Go and take your place in my tournament of ten bloods. Survive, and you will be rewarded. Faith. And your soul belongs to me. I'm to participate in the tournament of ten bloods. I know, what a portal to what? I don't want to go to Oblivion. Oh, <laughs> whatever, we'll do it. But still, I had just about enough Oblivion for one day. What is this? What is this? Welcome, Dark Elf. Oops. The yeah, is glitching. I'm sorry about that. I did not know it would do that. Okay. What do I do? Do, 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 do. I'm nervous. Oh, there's a statue of with you. Very large one. Tell me, darling. What exactly do I need to do? Is it telling me in the quest list? Okay. I'm at his realm. What do you want me to do, man? I hope I didn't glitch it out or something. That would really suck. Uh -huh. Let's go back to the cage and open it again and see what happens. I hope this will work. I'm in the cage. I'm in my cage. Really? I think there's supposed to be like an enemy that comes out to the middle and attacks you, but I mean, I'm here. Nothing's happening, so. Not really sure what to tell you guys. Alright, so I'm an idiot. You just had to approach the gate. So I guess I have to kill like nine different enemies. We should be able to manage it fairly easily. 
these guys don't look like they'll put up too much of a fight. I mean, one silver arrow took away quite a bit of her health. But of course, this is the first one. Yeah, she's going to be a pushover. Boom. I want that staff, though. Give me that staff. I hope you can pick up the drops. That'd be nice. Stop running, you wimpus. Yeah, that's right. Hey, you were supposed to die in that shot. Oh. Oh, the, the reflex spell damage, I think, is what killed her. She had a Daedric Battle Axe. 65 strong potions of healing. Ooh, I don't know if that was supposed to happen, but hey, I'll take them. <laughs> They're useful. Wow. 65 strong potions of healing. I was not expecting that. Yeah, 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 whatever. I don't care. I'll give him the goods. Some bald guy in Daedric armor. Everyone's in Daedric armor now. It's like the new thing. It's the new the new style. My frost damage resisted. Because I have resist spell 25%. And then I also have the f reflect spell. So even if I don't resist this spell. It'll reflect some of the damage. From the spellbreaker. I think. I think that's how it works. Whatever. I don't know. Can you please just die? I've, I've had about enough of you. Come on. I'm running low on arrows. I only had 20 silver arrows to begin with. I do have some steel arrows as well. But we should be fine. Yeah, and the reflex spell is hurting him, so that's that's good news. Boom. He's going to go in the lava. 52 strong potions? Why are they giving me so many healing potions? I mean, I'll take them, but... Holy crap. Yeah, I'm afraid you're getting annoying. Yeah, he's a Khajiit, he's weak and cunning, and he's kind of a doucher. So, this... Whoa, what battle axe is that? Is that a blue? What is that? I don't even know what... Oh, it's probably just an enchan enchanted Daedric axe of some kind that I can't pick up because I have so many strong healing potions, but whatever. Oh, and he if he has glass boots, I'm actually going to pick them up and use them instead of Daedric boots because I'm kind of trying to be a light armor person instead of a heavy armor person. I just like light armor a lot more. Hey, hey, calm down, calm down. Your battle axe is enchanted. I can see that now. You know what? Taste my wraith. Taste the power of my wraith. Steel arrows. I hope one of these guys is an archer and drops a Daedric bow. That would be freaking awesome. I really do want a Daedric bow. Because right now I'm going with an ebony bow. Okay. Battle axe of Transmorphagy. I just want to check out the enchantment. I'm not going to keep it, obviously. Oh, absorb Majika. That has nothing to do with transforming. Kind of gay. Okay, so you had glass boots and glass gauntlets. I'm going to take those, and I'm going to drop my Daedric boots and gauntlets because, um, for one, they weigh a lot, and for two, they're heavy armor, and I want to be a light armor person, so. I still got the Daedric helm, but, wow, I look so baller right now. Anyway, let's continue on through the next gate. This quest is kind of awesome. I mean, at first I was like, Oblivion area... Oh no, just shoot me now. And I was like, hey, you know, this is actually kinda kinda cool. But yeah, I'm I'm sure we'll fight at least one ranger, so hopefully the ranger will drop a Daedric bow. Oh, is she a vampire? Holy crap. No, no, get away from me. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away now. Get away, get away, get away now. I think she said she's a vampire, so uh oh. That's not good. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. She looks like a vampire. You are a vampire. Were you aware that you are a vampire? Because I am not too happy about that fact. I like how they're giving me so many strong healing potions. That's really useful. Get away. Get away. Get away. I don't like you. I've had about enough of this. Just a regular old Daedric Claymore. Caress of the Pit Viper. Resist poison. Yeah, that's crap. Daedric shield, Daedric boots, all this Daedric stuff. I remember back in the day when I was using like steel and iron crap. We've come a long way, guys, since that time. But what's that, four of them down? Three of them down? I don't know how to count, so I couldn't really tell you for sure. But I believe that's four of them down, so five more to go in that case. Even though it's called the, the Thing of Ten Bloods, you're the tenth one, I believe, so. Why can't we just have an archer? Please. Why are they all women, too? Except for that one bald guy. The one creepy bald guy and a whole bunch of women. I'm not sure why that is. I mean, maybe Bethesda's into 
women get into arenas and fighting. I don't know. Seems like a pretty odd fetish to have, but hey, it could happen. So, yeah, this is boring. Nothing we haven't seen before. Just a regular old Daedric clad person going ham. Anyway, with light armor, you can sneak a lot better, and you can also move a bit faster, so that's why I like light armor. Like, if I was in full Daedric right now, I would not be able to outrun this person. But since I am in full Daedric, I can outrun them, so, you know, hey, I'm not arguing. It's taking a long time. I mean, they are ha they do have pretty good armor on, so... That's probably why. Okay, it's getting a bit old. Just die now. Thank you. Finally... Do you have anything useful on you? Eh, more healing potions. I'll take them. Yeah, I mean, they are worth worth a fair amount, so I can always just sell them. What? Did I go a full circle already? I thought there was supposed to be more. Eh. That looks like the place where I came in. But, yeah, there was supposed to be more. Keep going right. The war-hearted red guard? That does not sound like an archer. And, alas, it is not. They're in glass armor, though. I'm not, not sure why. I mean, glass is light armor. Red guards are more the warrior type, so... Not sure why that is. But, you guys know the drill. As soon as I run out of arrows, I think this will be a li little bit more interesting. Are you a guy? You're actually a guy? That's weird. Haven't experienced that very much before in this quest. Really? 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 Come on. Does he have Paralyze on his axe? If so, I'm tempted. I might take that. Get away from me. Get away. A mud crab would be tougher than me? I don't think so. I have never seen a mud crab that can run and shoot arrows. There you go. Oh, he's just a regular war axe? How did he paralyze me then? Ooh, fortify health, 30 points on self. Uh, I'm taking it. I'm tempted. I'm tempted. It's glass and it fortifies health. But my current one does what? Resist magic? Eh, I don't know. They're both pretty good. I'm going to have to make an executive decision later on, but both of those are quite good enchantments, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Anyway, we're going to have to switch to the sword and shield now because um, I ran out of arrows. I can also do a bit of Magicka. I did not mean to summon the wraith yet. I did that by accident. Oh, finally an archer, please. Oh, that looks like a Daedric bow. That looks like a Daedric bow. That looks like a Daedric bow. Oh my gosh, I want it. Give it. Give, 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 give. Your blade is killing Grease. He's right. I leveled up. Hey, not bad. I'm actually really close to 75 blade as well. Oh, lootage. Massive, massive lootage here. All these amazing arrows. Unfortunately, I'm not being a dirty cheater and not duplicating arrows, so... But holy crap, this is a lot of arrows. I'm taking them all. Bow of the Inferno, that's a Daedric bow. Oh! That is my... Me letting out a satisfied sigh. Anyway. Um, it is an enchanted bow as well, so what that means is I'll probably have to... Shut up. Shut up. Are you an archer too? Please have like just a regular old... Wow. You have paralyzed arrows? That's kind of sick. And I kind of want them, but at the same time, holy crap. Try it. Yeah, she has, must have an enchanted sword because it's, it's reflecting damage at back at her. But this is what the spellbreaker is good at. Just watch. Hit me? No, you're supposed to lose health. Just die, please. And you have arrows, too. Hey. Regular old Daedric bow? Lots more enchanted arrows. Taking them all. I'm sorry, guys. I'm like an arrow hog. I love arrows. I love collecting them. I wish they just dropped, like, oh, Daedric bow. Just plain old Daedric bow. Thank you. So that's up being upgraded. Get rid of my old crappy ebony bow. And I have been upgraded to a Daedric bow. Heck yeah. That's like the main one I was looking for. So, no more Amadebo. Why couldn't they just drop a stack of like 100 
paralyze 500 frost damage arrows and not have to drop like 50 different stacks of arrows. That would be nice. What, he has invisibility? Well, he has chameleon. <laughs> I can still see you, dude. He has paralyzed too? Ugh. Why do all these guys paralyze? If I had put up my spellbreaker a second earlier, he would have paralyzed himself, which is the funny part. Or he had, well, he would have a chance to paralyze himself, that is. Because it's not, it's not 100% reflex spell, but it's 30% reflex spell. I think that means that the spell does not hit you, though, and it reflects 30% of the damage, or, I don't know. I don't know exactly how it works. I don't know the math. But come on. Stop healing. Is this guy, like, the mage guy? A.K.A. the piss taker? That's what I like to call him. Ooh, greater staff of storms. Shock damage, 35 points in 10 seconds. Eh, I'll take it. Quartz caress. Resist normal weapons, 15% on self. Why are they, Why do these guys have such good loot? Shock damage, 20 points on strike. Holy crap. Uh, I don't have enough carrying space to pick up this. I kind of want to, though. I'm going to see if I have anything else I can drop. Just repair everything really quickly. Should level up an armor here. Please? Maybe? Maybe not? Hey, come on. Level, let me level up. Dang it. Um, let's, We'll do that. We'll drop the Daedric Boots. The others are dust. You alone, Dark Elf, remain. First and last. Go now. Beyond the next gate, your portal waits. Cool. Oh, my pay is through the other gate. Let me through. Thank you. <laughs> I just had to wait, I guess. Whatever, we should get our reward now, so that's pretty cool. And I got lots and lots of awesome loot. Nope. So it even tells you to go loot the dead ones, but I already did. Okay, give me something cool. I greet you, chosen one. A victory in my tournament of ten bloods brings great honor. Take gold rash, sheath it in your enemies, and offer their souls as praise to me. I got gold brand. Gold brand is an awesome sword. I did not know Boethia gave it, but I knew it existed. But anyway, um it has a very good enchantment on it, but even without the enchantment, it's just straight up better than the Daedric Longsword. So, you know what that means. See ya! So, even when Goldbrand is unenchanted, it still has a higher base damage. So that means, yeah! You guys know what that means. It means we're going with Goldbrand. How much does it weigh? Uh, 52 pounds! Holy crap! Um, we're going to have to deal with that, though. Anyway, I think I can do one more Daedric quest in this episode. So, I gotta go to my house anyway, so let's just go to Vermania, whatever her name is, and see what uh, ingredient she needs to start the quest. Let's see, who do I talk to? Not you, not you. You? Yes. Who are you? I want to talk to her. Here we wish to speak with Vermina. A black soul gem. Uh-oh. I do not believe I have a black soul gem, and I also don't know exactly where to get a black soul gem. But I will be back, and hopefully when I am back, I will have a black soul gem. Alright, really quickly, I'm just going to level up, so let's do this. I forgot to level up, uh, uh, <laughs> I forgot to level up at home, so what I'm going to do instead is just level up at an inn in the Imperial City. So I could do like plus two willpower, but I think what I'm going to do instead is endurance. Why not? Endurance is pretty cool. Uh, I think plus five willpower is slightly better than plus three or plus two. Um, what plus two willpower is not as good as plus five endurance. I can't even talk right now. I'm so tired. 